I don't know about the energy, but for what it is, I love what I do. I love being with the fans. I love writing comics. I love doing movies. I love being with the fans. So, how could you not? How could you not be having a good time when you're with the kind of people that you're crazy about, and they're all as enthusiastic as you are about all the things that are going on? Whether it's movies or television or comic books or the internet, it's all so exciting. That's uh, I don't know. It's it's not like you're working. I feel like I'm playing all the time, especially when you're on the stage with someone like this. <laughs> Um, you mentioned the internet. How has technology changed the process of creating? For, has it changed anything for you? Or? Well, I don't think uh, technology has created the process of creating. What it's done, it's allowed the things you create to be presented in so much a more exciting way. Now, for example, we could not have done the Avengers movie 20 years ago. There's no way all those things could have been seen on the screen. So technology is making entertainment more exciting. And, and I might add, speaking of entertainment, I'm gonna get serious for one minute, which is not typical of me. Most of my life, my early life, I was a little bit embarrassed because I wrote comics, because I felt, you know, there are people, there are doctors treating people, and there are people building buildings and bridges and flying airplanes, and I'm writing these stupid comics. <laughs> and little by little, as the days and the years went by, and people would say, gee, I enjoyed this story, or I love that story, blah, blah, blah. And I began to realize that entertainment is one of the most important things in people's lives. Most people do not live. Thank you. so much for being you, and I wanted to just maybe everybody give a, a round of applause. Thank you, thank you. So anyway, I, I realize now that entertainment is important, and it fills a needed spot in people's lives. So all of you who are involved with comics and movies and television, you're all part of something that's very big and meaningful and entertaining, and thank you for letting me be a part of it too. Thank you for being there. I just want to know, I mean, I'm, a, I'm such a big fan. What do you do that makes you so hot? <laughs> I stand next to Stan. <laughs> Now, I'm very proud of Latveria. 
because I made up that name, and I swear it sounds like a real country. <laughs> I've had people say, how do I buy a ticket to Liberia? It sounds so real. But the big thing about Dr. Duke, being a king, if he comes here to America and he commits a crime, he's got diplomatic immunity. We can't arrest him. Now, you show me any other villain that can't be arrested because he's got diplomatic immunity. <laughs> and that's why Marvel has always led the pack. We're different. <laughs> <laughs>